Yeah, I'm not really buying this origin just yet. Just sit back and relax and let me explain. Hey guys, this is your boy Anime Mag Reviews, and today I got the possible answers to your questions about anti-magic. So I decided to do this follow-up video to Black Clover Chapter 269 because I was very curious as to see, you know, what would be the possible thoughts of Black Clover fans as far as the new revelation that anti-magic possibly sort of like just came out of nowhere. But to really talk about the new revelation about anti-magic, we really have to just go back. And we really have to remember how Asta had used anti-magic before he got his Black Asta form. And so if you guys can sort of peel back the lenses of time and just remember the good old days of Black Clover where our boy Asta didn't have the Black Asta form and he had to use the anti-magic source to just basically delete uh, magic and magic attacks that were coming towards him. So if you guys remember the dungeon arc where our boy Asta had to face off against Mars and Asta was having a pretty difficult time. But if we look at the properties of anti-magic, it was actually suiting him very well. He was able to cut Mars's attacks in half. He was able to defend himself while at the same time using Lit Sword's abilities, specifically the Demon Dweller Sword, to just shoot back different magic attacks at uh, Mars. We had Noelle also adding to it as well when she had put some power into Asta's Demon Dweller Sword and she was able to help him out in that aspect as well. So at the beginning of the series, we really didn't necessarily see the full potential of anti-magic because pretty much Asta was just using the latent abilities of the anti-magic when it was fused with the swords. And that's something that was still pretty cool just to think about. But at the same time, it wasn't nowhere near what Black Asta could do. And so when we do see the introduction of Black Asta, we see him coating himself in the anti-magic. And even the Witch Queen has some sort of narration with this, whereby her abilities had allowed Asta to fully use the anti-magic, whereby before I would compare it to like, you know, have you ever turned on a sink or a faucet and the drips sort of like come out when you don't shut it off all the way to then being a full river of anti-magic just flowing uh, through Asta. And at that time, we really thought that, you know, Asta was using the full capabilities of anti-magic and I did as well. And during that time, we weren't exactly too sure what anti-magic truly was. And we did see some clues or rather some foreshadowings before the introduction of, of course, what we see in Black Clover chapter 266, 267, 268, and nine, when we do see finally the anti-magic demon reveal himself in his true form. And that is when we actually see the anti-magic demon sort of going through his history and what had happened to him. But the very interesting part about all of this is that originally when the anti-magic demon was in the underworld, he possessed no mana. And not only that, he didn't even have any magic period. So he was the lowest of the lowest. And this is something that really just kind of like threw me for a loop because everyone was saying originally that maybe anti-magic is just this ancient source of energy that was before magic. I know I saw some theories about that. And let me tell you guys, the theories on Reddit are just insane and crazy. But what was recently revealed is that apparently the anti-magic demon developed these anti-magic powers through falling into despair. And guys, this is just a disclaimer. I'm just saying he fell into despair. I think that if you read the fan translation, it just says that he felt hatred, malice, and sorrow. And to be honest with you guys, this kind of just like is despair, and that is how he developed these powers. And so this is pretty much the closest origin that we're really getting to how anti-magic really had developed. Now, maybe in the future, we're really going to see something else. Like maybe Lucifer had planned it all and maybe the anti-magic demon is Lucifero's son and this is a latent ability that the anti-magic demon had always possessed maybe he would have gained these powers eventually if he was in the underworld and all it took was just time however right now the possible origin of it is that it's just developed in him naturally by him being sealed in the five leaf clover grimmar now, this origin really doesn't answer all of my questions about anti-magic. Like, for instance, when Asa was fighting against Dante the second time, I mean, when he was fighting against Dante with Yami, the anti-magic demon had revealed to Asa that he hasn't really been using the purest form of anti-magic. Apparently, Asa has just been using uh, maybe 
just like an off brand version of it. And I'm not saying it's like a synthetic version of anti-magic because of course, you know, Asta and the anti-magic demon, the grimoire, they all work together as one cohesive team. However, it does just make you think here. It's like, well, if Asta's just been using a like a diluted form of it, what is the full form of it? Like, is it something similar to what we saw in this week's chapter where he was able to levitate the swords and pretty much just use them as wrecking balls against Asta? Will Asta be able to do that? I think so. Eventually, he was able to call the Demon Slayer sword to his hand. However, you just have to wonder, like, what is the extent and what is the plateau of anti-magic? Like, what is the purest form of anti-magic? Because it was pretty strong to just literally cut Lucifero and Dante merged together in half and pretty much just leave Dante back in his human form and him unable to heal his wounds. And this is something that's pretty amazing, guys, because Dante was using 80% of uh, demonic power from Lucifero, of course, across from the underworld, because I just assume that while Dante is being possessed by Lucifero, Dante cannot actually use 100% of Lucifero's powers, and maybe even it's just a diluted version, because Lucifero seems to be one of the most powerful demons. Maybe a human being couldn't handle all that power. Who knows? And so it just leaves just a lot up to the imagination, and it was pretty cool to see that although Asa was up against all of these odds, he still managed to fight against the anti-magic demon. But I do have one last question. Is anti-magic capable of the same destruction as, for instance, uh, Lucifero's gravity magic? We saw what Lucifero and Dante pretty much had did with the gravity magic. I mean, this dude was able to unravel time. He was able to alter gravity in so many different ways, destroy mountains. Now, I definitely believe that anti-magic has the capability but how is it going to do it? Now, it is a destructive force. We have seen anti-magic destroy rocks and boulders. So hopefully we will get to see the imagination of Yuki Tabata just work its magic. And that's no pun intended. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much the video. I mean, there are other questions that are probably going to be answered in future manga chapters. For right now, a lot about anti-magic is still in the dark. I have no idea how he just developed this ability. I have no idea where it came from. I still think it's sort of related to Asta's mother, but not in the way that we think it is. Maybe she fused it with the anti-magic demon. Maybe from his perspective, he thinks that it just came about. And knowing Yugi Tabata, there's definitely more to this story than meets the eye, especially since coincidentally enough, we see that Asta's mother had the ability to suck the life force and the mana out of things. And at the same time, the anti-magic demon and the five leaf clover grim are all in the same area at once. Yeah, that is a, not a coincidence. Someone or something planned this, and I think that we're going to see it in future chapters. But that does it for me today, folks. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. You know, just smash it. Show us some love. Also, give me a thumbs up and comment down below and tell me what you guys thought about this video. And as always, make sure you guys stay safe out there and peace.